Hey everybody, today we're going to be covering the new hero, Rai, who has entered the game. So to get this hero, you'll need to click on your Evangelion event, event button up here, and then go down to your game room, go into your gift center, and if you scroll to the right, you will now find that there is a Rai Ayanami, and I'm hoping I'm saying this right, pack. Uh, you can buy her for 20 US dollars, and then you can also get her skill here, which... We will cover later. The lucky treasury has changed for her. So it is now her instead of Shinji. And typically you can get her for approximately 3300 in the lucky treasury. We'll see how we do today. So we have one, two skill or sorry, shards. Every 900 points you get an extra. So there's three, four, five, none, six, seven, eight. So nine, there's 10. So I did it in just under 3,300. So about 3,000 chart or gems for me. But we're going to always, I always make sure I finish it because it's a free shard for 330. Uh, some people do use the Lucky Treasury to five star these heroes. If you have the gems, definitely not bad. Um, I kind of did it with Shinji for a little while to level them up to four star. And it costs approximately just over 200 gems per shard. So it's not terrible, but or it's not the best, but it's also a way you can do that without using your orange shards if you want to use those for perking on other heroes or things like that. So once you have your 10 shards, you will want to go into your hero list and you can recruit her. As you can see, she is a army hero. She has an attack skill and she has a support skill. So she's a multi-skilled hero. And judging by her stats, she's pretty balanced with war defense. Her skill for 5-star max stats reads, At the beginning of the battle, all units get a 55% HP shield. She starts with 4 rage points, and each regular attack gets her 1 rage point. So that means that she will go off on your third tile, because it only requires 7. With the possibility of gaining rate 1 rage point when your unit receives a regular attack. So that means you also have a chance of getting an extra rage point when you're attacked. When the rage point is 7 or higher, after any of your units make a regular attack, use all of the rage points and release the skill to fire two missiles at a random at random enemy targets, each dealing 100% damage. When releasing the skill, each missile does 5% more damage for each rage point used. So, what that means is your damage is going to not actually be just 100%. It's going to be 100% plus the 5 times 7, so 135% for each missile, plus if you have other things that increase it. Above that 7, you might have 8 rage points, 9 rage points, 10 rage points, things like that. So keep that in mind. Um, this is a universal hero. Also, you didn't see anything specifically saying Navy or Army or Air Force, just like with Shinji. So if you come into here, your level 3 increases the attack by 30%. The level 5 increases the skill. Or sorry, when they use the skill so that you get 2 to 4 rage points at random when they release the skill. So similar to you where when you would trigger, it would automatically give you rage points to start. And basically what that means is her rage will always be at 3 after releasing, meaning it's she should always probably trigger within the first two tiles every time. So she's going to trigger a lot, especially if you listen to my tip here in a second. And then level seven for every one rage point used, the damage is increased by 10% instead of five. So um, that's also huge. So how I see her being used is to, for first we're going to sit here and level her up because I'm going to be inserting her into my navy. Because I see her as an excellent pair with Aaron. And currently I still have Bylos in my march, which she's not really going to be a great straight up replacement for Bylos. But I'm also leveling up Shinji because I think that I can take and replace both of them. Both you and Bylos with these two heroes. So now that I have her level 120 and 5 star. Um, so if you take her rage and you have Aaron Yes's 
um, ability to add rage to your allies. So each person gets two to four rage points every time her skill goes off. That means the skill is going to be going off a lot more. And then you can use Shinji instead of you to get your indestructible at the beginning of the battle. And because he is not a rage, he's just a straight trigger hero, you don't have to worry about the rage. So basically what's going to happen is Shinji is going to be kind of your um, indestructible, and this works for Navy. Shinji will be your indestructible where Aaron, yes, will sit there and trigger her skill and keep activating that and adding rage to both herself and the new hero, Rai. So that's kind of how I see her being used for Navy. Um, even if you don't have want to level up both her and Shinji, at the very least level up her and put her into your march. You can replace pretty much anybody with her as long as you have Aaron with her. So it should be Aaron, her, and then I'd suggest Nemo just because he kind of has that attack buff. But I might keep Bylos because I don't want the rage. I want all Aaron's rage going to her. To enhance her attack instead of going to possibly going to Nemo. Um, another op opportunity for people is Merida. The mutant Merida isn't that bad now, so definitely could put her in with that also just to get that mute effect from the second row. Um, there's a lot of different options that this opens up, but just like with Shinji, she, she seems like she's going to be broken. Um, very, very broken, especially just with how things are now. Um, so that is her. Um, I did not mention her skill quick, so I'll kind of show you that. Sorry, forgot to cover that while I was in here. So her, um, it increases the skill effect by 3%, so that's going to increase the, uh, HP shield by 3%. So also remember, she does give you an HP shield on top of her rage skill, which is absolutely crazy. So, uh, I hope you all enjoy the content. Please remember to like and subscribe if you do, and see ya.